You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Moon Merrifield versus Merrifield. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Mrs. Moon Merrifield, you say your family is in jeopardy of being torn apart. Yes, Your Honor. You've dragged your husband, Mr. Merrifield, to paternity court to prove that he fathered your 20-month-old son, Cain. Yes, Your Honor. You claim he's been denying your son since birth. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Merrifield, you believe your wife cheated on you and has been lying about Cain's paternity, and now you say a divorce is next. Yes, yes, Your Honor. So, Mrs. Moon Merrifield, how do you feel having to come to court today? I'm pissed because I've been with him for 16 years on and off. Nobody's perfect. He's made mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've given him three kids with one on the way, and he should know my character better than that than to sleep around with another man. Mr. Merrifield, there's a lot at stake here today. My family is on the line. I have divorce papers here. For Let 50%. me see that evidence. Jerome, hand that to me, please. You, know, you have the divorce papers already yes, ma filled out. They're just, what, awaiting execution? I need to find out the answer if this is my child or not. He okay. always results to that. Anytime we have a fight or an argument or whatever, it's always divorce. It's never work it out, let's talk, whatever. He always throws up divorce in my face like... I'm supposed to just f melt to my feet. You know, like, people well, have been through worse than what we've been through, and he always, just at the littlest thing, brings up divorce. It's not a threat. It's, you know, that's how I feel. The reason why we're here in the first place, man, I caught her texting some dude that supposedly was supposed to be her ex-boyfriend that it was right before my two yeah, sons was born. Yeah, he did. Born, yeah, he did. I've seen some Facebook messages from these guys, these, this person before. Well, yeah, it was somebody did. else. But it's okay she, when he does it. No, she... He lets his imagination, his <clears throat> mind go off. Oh, well, if you said this, then I, it's probably this and this. And if you did this, then, you know, if you said this, then you're probably thinking this. And I know guys and, you know, but it's okay for But him. you admit you were texting someone I else, did. another yeah, man. I did, yes. Your his, Honor? He's friends with every Facebook woman that he's ever slept with. They comment on stuff. But if it's me, it's I'm, oh, I want to sleep with this person. I'm Is that true, Mr. Well, Merrifield? Is there a uh, double standard here? No, there's yes. not a double standard. Yes, there me. is. No. You texting, is this you texting these dudes about, about y'all... Uh, I got evidence of the text messages and stuff, too. This is just one text. Let me admit have. it. From Let me admit it to the text one per, from one person. It doesn't matter. Okay, but if you read between the lines... Line, if you read between the lines, y'all talking about... Let's get between your lines. Taking a date, on a date. I want to understand this. You say these are messages. That's, that's, this is just what I... The evidence that I have right now. I have... That you have, found. Yes. She's had, she has more. That's... I, mean, I'm I admit it one, to all my, that, that, my messages. That right there. I'm texting and one of the so? dudes that she was talking to right so? there. And you so you... This thing? is a message where you text this man. Yes. And you say, are you messing with my wife? Yes. And he says, he, hey, bro, uh, don't nobody want your wife. I'm far from it. I'm and not I'm not about to be arguing with you. You need to be with your wife instead of acting like a clown. <laughs> and so yeah, what and, you and have... He acts and crazy. Look, look, look at the number that's on there, the, or the call log, and how much they're talking. And that's why I'm acting crazy. I can because... talk to anybody I want to talk to. All day to. long, every day, when I'm doing this So, Miss Moon Merrifield, this is a call log mm -hmm. of... Several calls more than several. to the same number. Back to back, every minute. Like three Text texts and four or yeah. five texts each not, minute. But it's not like that. It's, it's a LOL or it's laugh LOL. out loud or, or whatever. It's not like, ooh, ooh we just going back and forth just like that. <laughs> Is this a person you've been intimate with? No, I've never been intimate with the person at all. But let him tell it, you're lying. You have to be. Every, every time I talk to somebody... You've been together how long? 16 years off and on. Take me back. Let me understand how this relationship started. So you all were, what, high school sweethearts? Something yeah. like that. He was Something in like that. He was in junior high. I, I was, was in 13. high school. I was 13. She was 14. I used to walk to school, pick up those little things that you blow, and you close your eyes and make a wish. Yes. I used to walk to school in seventh grade, and I used to see those and pick them up and wish, like, oh, I love this girl. I wish I had a family and kids by this girl. You know what they say, be careful what you wish for. You know, and I used to wish for that all the time. Wow. Really, so, Mr. Mirrorfield? So, wow. so... So, we was together, the first three years was good, up, all the way up until 18. Once we turned 18, she started saying, you know, I was her first boyfriend, first everything, you know, so she wants to experience, you know, other men and other things. So I'm like, okay, I have to deal with that. She'll break up with me for a weekend, go do whatever she want to do and come back and want to be back together on a Wednesday. <laughs> That's you a lie. You know lie. what I'm saying? She always put other men before me. You know what I'm saying? When That's it comes how he down feels. To it, Those are his insecurities. No, she always That's how chooses. He feels. 
when we get into a situation about somebody, if she catches me, like she said, talking to a woman or someone, a friend, I will fix it and end it. Or someone no, that's he more doesn't, than a friend. Because he has a female right? to this day. Still has okay. his number. He made me change my number, but he won't change his number. And he tells me, just because they crossed the line one time, they can still be good friends. No, the reason but why... because I'm... it's me... Oh, no, I automatically want to have sex with this person. She does and it. So and you I'm all two are names, in a I'm marriage, hoes, but this, functioning like, like this. you just dating. You yes. just, there's no commitment. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. No commitment, no communication, no loyalty. Because everything has no, to be his way. No, I have no, to it has to be the, the way he tells by the me book. I need But to... what it sounds like to me is you've been together. You have had 16 years to figure out how to set some boundaries, yes. mm -hmm. some working parameters, expectations concerning how you want to operate as a family. We have. I, I mean, what I'm listening to it just feels like anything goes. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Mr. Merrifield. Yes. Can you please explain to me the doubt you have concerning Kane's paternity. Okay, the doubt that I have, the reason why I have doubt is I found her texting three different dudes. Two of them, three of them she already slept with and she loves. <laughs> There's her love, one of them is the love of her life. You know what I'm saying, who she's in love with. If she's texting these guys that they love each other. If she's texting these guys that they love each other, she's supposed to change her number. She changes her number, then she starts emailing, I love you to him. And then I catch the email. You're exaggerating, I, I no, catch, I, I find didn't. the email, then she start. then from the email she's, she makes a fake app. The, the texting app, that fake app goes and downloads a fake app. And now she's texting Because he goes through my call log and he calls number. every number, calling number on them. there. She's calling every number. She goes it through, can she be can anybody. Do it to me, then it, she oh, if it's a block call, call, call get my numbers. Who's, who's the block number? She could go through the bill phone. collector or this or that. She's been so sneaky to <laughs> he, me. He and, just goes beyond. It's all his imagination. It's not my imagination, it's proof. He always talking about his needs and this and that and that. But what about my needs? I took care of you. This year on my birthday, we go to dinner. He didn't even pay for the dinner for one. I had to tell them on my own that it was my birthday. I didn't get a Mother's Day gift. He don't take no time. He don't put no thought into it. Well, I didn't know what to do, so whatever. But no, he's so lie, worried right? about me pleasing yeah, that's, him that's lie, and everything you know like what? that. She gets but so he much. does not. She don't he do does nothing. Not Is that why you do enjoy texting yes, or talking I do. to yes. other men. He criticizes everything I do. Oh, I, I would have had this whole thing done within an hour. You don't, you're supposed to do it this way. I don't live with my father, never have. I'm a grown, grown woman. And thank you for the correction. <laughs> but I get the point. So, Mr. Merrifield, this is your wife. Your child was born within your marriage. Were you intimate with your wife during the time the child was conceived? Yes. You were. All right. So now you know that there is at least a possibility yes. this child can be you. Yes. Do you have proof that your wife was intimate with anyone else during that time Besides as well? Besides the text messages, no. But her ex-boyfriend, the one who I think is, might be the, the dad, she was talking to his mother and sent, him, uh, sent her a picture of his one-year-old son around the same age as my son. Why do you think she sent the picture? So, so she could compare. compare. So you think her ex is the father and that's why she sent the picture. And that's the possibility. He has no proof. Ma'am, please stand. State your name. My name is Nicole Andre. Miss Andre, what do you know about this situation? Mr. Merrifield has stated that the reason why his wife says she's even with him is because it's your fault because you took him in and she had no one else to date and now she's caught in this. That's what she said that... all the time. Does she say it Every or not? time it's bad, she blames it on me. When it's good, it's not my fault. But he also, if I'm on my daughter's side, then I'm wrong, or I'm taking her side, or I'm against him. I have been with this little boy, this young man, since he was 14 years old. He still doesn't know how much I love him. He still thinks I try to come between them. I want my daughter to have her husband and her whole family together because she wasn't raised with her father. But he's too... Stupid to know that. He thinks I'm against him. I'm for him. Always for him. But I'm for her, too. I can't always be on his side because he's not always right. Mm -hmm. She's right sometimes and sometimes he's right. She's wrong for doing that text. I told her she shouldn't do that. 
I'm never telling her or encouraging her to treat him bad. Now, when he's ignorant or he's acting crazy, yeah, sometimes I tell her, you need to walk away because Devontae's acting crazy. They say I'm acting so, crazy, though. But I love him. But he's emotional. Because when I find, when I find, stuff, when I find this Devontae stuff, is very emotional. I, All right. Do, do I love you, Devontae? Yes, yeah, you do. Well, I'm always telling her to be with you. Because she always getting, taking your advice. You make advice no ain't, sense. Always, ain't always the, the right advice to take. I'm not a take. follower. I'm not well, a follower. Right? Who's the who's All right, right family, <sighs> Miss Andre, let me ask you. Do you believe Cain is your grandson? I know grandson? Cain is his. I know Cain is his. You do. My daughter would tell me. She would tell me if she teach. She would. She told him before when it was Cave, my first grandson, that then, she, he knew. He knew that that might have been a possibility uh, slightly. No, because we had just no. got together. But I didn't. And he I thought think, Cave wasn't his. When no Cave came that. out, he looked identical. I to couldn't him. get pregnant for nine years. I could not get pregnant. And all of a sudden, when we got back together, we off I got pregnant. Nine years. So he said, "Yeah, he we had all, a little I bit of doubt." A little but when I'm that son came out, because he was light skinned and he had colored eyes, automatically that was his son. His first two children. But I could have been messing with like somebody light skinned with colored eyes. Like, how are you gonna deny this one, okay. but not well, deny this one that looks one? Like her, but his dad is And dark. so, was Mr. Merrifield at Kane's birth? He was there through the whole thing. He's with I, was, I had a six month old baby my when my I got pregnant with Kane. I didn't have no time. It was breastfeeding looks. at home. 20 my doubts has to do seven. with, with the situation. He didn't our, start. The Recent denial until we the text through. message. Do you all realize that you're talking exactly at the same time and I can't hear what either one of you are saying? Right. Just let her finish. Go ahead, ma'am. He was there through the whole thing. I had a six-month-old son. I was at home 24-7, breastfeeding, being with my son. I had no time to go nowhere else. I, I'm, I'm not that type of person. I'm not that type of woman. So, Mr. Merrifield, why is it you have so much doubt? I know the text messages, but when... She became pregnant. Yeah, when she became... And she told you. Did you immediately say, I don't know if that child is mine? No, no, I you did You thought at first... Yeah, I'm, I mean, when, the, when he got here, and I kind of was looking at him. You know, when he, when he came out and he was born. I, but I was looking at him just to see, like, if he had the eyes or whatever. Yeah, he and, would um, stare at him. But... That, he would stare at him. He, he that's called the him reason his son why of color. Think... That's he calls it, oh, come here, my son of color. I don't and then say he that. you did call it. You never called him my son of color. He never has that. He tells her to yes, get her he son. Get her son. He would stare at him and he'd be like, he'll stare at him and be like, I'm trying to see if he has the eyes. I'm like, every child you have are not gonna have your eyes. Don't I'm a brown like woman. I have brown eyes. My son is brown, and he has my beautiful brown eyes. Well, then you know what? And I have the evidence over here that I did the research that. Um, over green and brown eyes, the brown eyes are the dominant trait anyway. Let me see your research, ma'am. And now they're always saying... He's always they're, changing his they're story. They're always saying... No, you guys are always saying that he don't got the when eyes. When he's he don't mad at me, that he don't look like yeah, me I say anyway. to hurt you. He looks I say nothing it to hurt like you, me. Then he goes, really... oh, they're brothers through you because you're no. both their mothers. So, look, let's... Right. let's not let's, through him. Listen, let's, let's just break this down. If Cain is your biological child, you want to work on this marriage? Yes. But we can't have a third party in it. It's not going to be successful. We don't even live close to her. Hey, you I don't even get in y'all business no more in. like that. Don't oh, lie, don't Devontae. Don't even start. Don't even start. But, but, but before this... <laughs> Let's get some order. We're not going to go off on that tangent. He's trying to tarnish her. But I'm not trying on, to tarnish her. He's cheated on her so many I can, times. He had I a possibility of the, the stuff, another the child that I got to this. tarnish her. I and have she was not. still going to be with him. I haven't. So he's cheated on her a if lot. You, if you want to, he's cheated on, cheated on her a lot. Way more than I he's cheated, cheated on her. her a lot. All right. So bottom line, is, bottom line is. And, and it's not about that. It's about since we've been married. Mr. Merrifield, Mr. Merrifield, be quiet. I realize you're passionate about this. I realize you're passionate and I realize you have a lot of no, emotion. Because... And I know there is a lot riding on these results today. I get it. So let's get them. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Moon Merrifield versus Merrifield pertaining to 20-month-old Kane Merrifield, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Merrifield, you are Kane's father. Huh. 
or apology, Devante. Ugh. Well, Brittany, I apologize for having doubts that he was in my son. But if you can't understand from everything that's been going on of where the doubts are coming from, you're not perfect. I haven't even put some of the stuff out there, the, what I think either. of my doubts. No, I know. You're I never either. said it, but y'all trying to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make so, it seem like anything. But I apologize. Now we have to figure out what we have to do to fix our dang marriage. That's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm happy you know now. I really am. I could see the emotion in your voice. I could see your body language. You were so pent up with anxiety. It was like you were about to explode over there. Mr. No, because Mary. I have a whole lot to Let say. me tell you something. More to say, Let me I'm, tell you I'm something. Not... Let me tell you something. It's not about what making somebody look bad. What needed to be said has been said. That's your son. <sighs> so what you guys have to do now, you all gotta start over. This right here, this thing you all call in a marriage, it's a mess. You gotta start back at A. You've both made a lot of mistakes. You have no boundaries. You have no parameters. No one knows what the other one should be doing. You gotta set rules in relationships or they will fall apart. We have resources available that can help you figure out how to take that first step because I know you wanna be together. I can see in both of your eyes you love one another, but you gotta do the work. Take advantage of the counseling and the resources and keep it going. Court is adjourned. I'll go ahead and walk you out first.